Welcome back to another Inkscape tutorial. In this video, we're going to be using the spray tool to create multiple objects and copies of objects on the screen without having to draw each one individually. So we're going to be drawing a starry night scene. Uh, yeah, so I'll show you how we'll do that. First of all, let's just play with the spray tool for a second and show you what it does. If we just click on it first on a blank canvas, it does nothing. Because what this actually does is copy an object. So if we draw a circle, we have a black circle like this. And then while it's selected, we select the spray tool. Now this is the object that we're going to be spraying. And by default, your settings might look a little more... Um, I've changed some of these settings a little bit. But by default, it kind of looks like this when you spray. So what this did was actually drew a whole bunch of, of copies of this. And I have my scale turned on, so they're all a little bit different sizes. But you can make them spray the same copy. Um, let's grab a, a better example might be let's do like a let's do something with a border so we have red with a blue border and if we spray this it'll look like this so we've sprayed oh I have my rotation on too which isn't on by default so these are all rotated do, 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 do. so that's what the spray does it just sprays a bunch of copies but every one of these is its own object that we can move and manipulate separately all right I'm gonna hit control Z a whole bunch of times to get rid of all of this and let's do a so what we can do is if we do a star for example we can actually make like a starry night scene so we'll draw a really cool looking star and then we'll just spray it to create a, a starry night scene but to do that we're going to change some of the settings one of the settings we want to do is come up here and click on prevent overlapping objects and if i hit Control z now the stars won't overlap with each other so that's kind of that's a lot better and then also we can change like the rotation. If your rotation is set to zero, then they'll just all they won't be rotated. They'll all be like this. And if your um, if your scale is set to zero, then they'll all just be the same size. Which for certain things you might want to do that. If you're doing like an American flag, maybe you just want to do that. Da, 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 da. And then you can go in and like reposition these. In fact, we could use a line and distribute like we learned in the last video. Um, to line them up. I'll hit Control Z a couple times, but we're going to be doing uh, a Starry Night scene. So we're going to left click here, we'll just cover a rectangle on our whole page, and then we'll turn it black. And I'll get rid of this stroke by just holding down the Shift key and going to this little X in the corner to say no stroke. All right, then we'll take this star and we'll just use this one. It's on a, a lower level, so we have to push the page up key to get it to go up. And let's turn it, maybe we'll turn it, um, let's do white. We'll just do white star, and then we'll also turn off the stroke for it. So hold down the shift key and click here on the no, uh, what's this called? None. <laughs> All right, and then we will, uh, let's scale this a little bit. So I'm going to hold down the control key and scale it uniformly down to about that size. Perfect. And then I'll just, while this is selected, I'll click on my spray tool. And let's take the, our rotation up to, it doesn't really, anywhere above 50% will be good for us. And our scale, this just shows the, the how large it will be. So if we do this 100%, we'll have some pretty large stars and some pretty tiny ones. So we'll scale maybe to, we want them roughly to be about that size. So I'll scale to about 51%. Let's just try this and see how it looks. Oh, awesome. This is maybe too many stars. <laughs> and uh, what we can do then, we can select like, well, we, don't, we want to select everything, so we go select all of it. Then we hold down the Shift key and deselect the background if we can. There we go. It's, it's deselected now because you can see this it's not doesn't have a white dotted line around it. If I hold down the Shift key and select it, now the background selected. If I deselect it, it's not. And then we can apply changes to all these stars at once. In fact, let's group them. Control G. Now they're all grouped. And now we can change the color if we wanted to of all of them together. Um, we could maybe go in. What I was thinking about maybe doing was going into fill and stroke on this. We got object, fill and stroke. And then we could, um, I don't know what we can do with them. We can change. We can try and do like, see what it looks like if we blur them a little bit. And then maybe we could apply, uh, I don't 
change the color just a little bit, do a little bit of slightly yellow. Yeah, so anyway, I didn't, I didn't have a real direction for something to produce by the end of this video, but I wanted to demonstrate using the spray tool. So that's one thing you can use the spray tool for. And again, you can also, also you can draw, it's whatever selected. So if we went and got grab our Bezier tool, or even, yeah, if we grab our Bezier tool and create a little something, we can spray this now. And so we can grab our spray tool with this selected, if we turn our rotation down to zero and our scale to zero so it won't rotate and scale when we're drying it. Yeah. And then we turn our, um, oh, and scatter down to zero too. That'll, that'll keep, them, keep it always in the same place. And then if we say, let it overlap, oh, where did our thing go? And then we'll just spray that. So then we're getting like this. So we're spraying this object that we did. Or every time we click, it'll also just spray once. Yeah, that's how the spray tool works in Inkscape. Appreciate you watching. Catch you on the next video.